so we're going to talk about hype. Well, we're going to talk about Fire Force 2. But first, we're going to talk about hype. And I promise it all comes full circle. Don't worry. Hype is one of the most complicated things in the world, especially when we're talking about anime. Because too much hype can leave you in a position where you or your series is being criticized way too harshly for not reaching the high bar that's been set. And too little hype can leave you with a quality series that's drowning in the sea of content, searching for any ounce of attention. And these are both two extreme sides to hype, but if I had to sway Fire Force to one side or the other, it'd definitely be the latter not getting enough hype. But why? That's what we're going to try to figure out when we look at why Fire Force hasn't become the next big thing in anime. Now, just to be clear, the quality of whatever we're talking about, anime, manga, movie, TV shows, athlete, it doesn't really matter. You don't really quantify how quality something is based off how hype it is. I mean, of course that can be the case, but those two things are not mutually tied together. So I think there are three-ish reasons Fire Force hasn't broke the glass ceiling, so to speak. One being kind of minor, which is why I say ish, it's not really going to be something I spend too much time on. And that's just the fan service in the series. Uh, the other two points aren't even going to be real criticisms of the series. And to be honest, this isn't even really a real criticism to me. I just know that there are a lot of people out there who don't like all the fan service in Fire Force. Personally, either I'm just not paying a lot of attention to it when it's on screen or people are way, way, way blowing out of proportion how much fan service is actually in the series. But either way, you're entitled to your own opinion. And if that is something that you just really don't enjoy, it makes your skin crawl. I get that fan service, not really something that I love. If it disappeared from every series and no longer was a trope, I wouldn't be hurt by it. So again, I understand if you don't really like it and that's something that's turning you off from the series, but I think most anime fans have kind of accepted the fact, especially in a series like Fire Force that's more of a shonen and is aimed at a very specific demographic, and that demographic sometimes enjoys uh, anime titties. <laughs> Many of us kind of accept the fact that, hey, this is just going to be a thing in a lot of the shows that we like. It is what it is. If you don't really get a laugh or a chuckle or a boner out of any of it, that's fine. Just move on. Like I said, I don't think this has that big of impact on Fire Force's growth or its rise to acclaim. But it gets talked about enough on Twitter daily to the point where I feel like I could at least just give a quick tidbit on it. The two much, much, much more important points that play into Fire Force's struggles, in my opinion, I think I'm going to give to one, it being a super, super hard show to pitch, and two, it being sort of a slow burn, no pun intended. So let's first address Fire Force being a hard sell. It's easy to recommend Fire Force by simply saying, I like it and maybe you'll like it too. But if someone asks you a little bit more and asks you to explain what the show's about, you may have a bit of a hard time. And that kind of comes with the nature of anime and manga in general because these are some really weird, wacky, out there stories. But let's do a little test. I'm going to give you like 10 seconds and in two to three sentences, give me like a general summary of what you think Fire Force is about. If you haven't seen the series, just guess in your mind. And if you have seen the series, then again, try to come up with some sort of summary and explanation for what this show is. So, Chances are you struggle to really come up with a concise explanation of this series that also still makes it sound interesting and worth watching. The amount of people who haven't seen the series and think it's just anime firefighters is crazy. But like they're also kind of right. <laughs> On the surface, if you just want to be like, hey, this is an anime about firefighters. Yeah, you could say that. But 
that sounds stupid. And if you're a long time anime fan and you've you've seen a bunch of different series and you've been around for a sec, you know that there are lots of anime about lots of random things that you never thought in a million years could be entertaining, and they ended up being pretty decent series. Like you know, volleyball is pretty weird, or like hockey playing lolly girls is certainly up there, or Japanese idol groups that's probably up there too. And the list can go on and on and on. But remember, we're not talking about just casually pitching some show to your friend. We're talking about trying to get Fire Force to that next level, becoming one of the big faces of anime. So chances are you're not going to get the general casual population to get super excited about firefighters. That's certainly not pirates or ninja or superpower martial artists or superheroes. So the solution would to be go into more detail about the series and that's where we kind of enter the second issue, which is Fire Force is a bit of a slow burn. So if you don't know what a slow burn is, it's just a term used to describe a story that sort of takes its time to really flush out the entire plot. Fire Force is a show that takes its time to introduce you to its characters and introduce you to its world and takes a lot of time to really let you settle into that world and establish the rules of that world and its society and the motivations of all these different cool characters and their roles in said society. It's not a super super complex story by any means but it's definitely a little bit more on the platter than coming in with Deku in episode 1 and him telling you that he's on the road to become the number one hero. And considering the fact that the creator of Fire Force is also the creator of Soul Eater, another series that was sort of a slow burn and took its time to really build up its world and characters, so it adds up that Fire Force is taking this same route. The reason I even bring this up though is because a series that's planned out like this doesn't really fit the blueprint or the mold of becoming the quote unquote face of anime or one of the top anime. Looking at how Soul Eater was handled, Fire Force clearly isn't gonna hotshot any of its writing, it's clearly not gonna rush any of its arcs or play up one of its arcs like it's totally in game and introduce this crazy villain and make this super high budget anime fight just to fade into obscurity when the season ends and have no one talk about it anyway until they inevitably do that same loop over and over again until people get tired of the show eventually and it ends up not being held in the highest regard in the end even though in the moment it was heavily talked about no shots at any particular anime by the way <clears throat> it's gonna take its time it's gonna really build up to all the secret societies and the breaking down of the rules and understanding of the worlds and understanding the different kinds of fire departments xyz things i won't go into detail about because i mean you should either know about them or go watch fire force and learn about them yourself in a perfect world, quality things rise to the top, but we do not live in a perfect world, unfortunately. I still personally think Fire Force is held in pretty high regard, it just really hasn't tapped into that more casual anime audience. But all in all, does it really matter, my nigga? Look, I know I just talked about and went into details and broke down how and why Fire Force isn't like the face of anime right now and it's not being talked about like the likes of its fellow colleagues in anime. And to end all this off on a note of saying none of that really matters seems kind of reductionist, but it really doesn't matter. If you enjoy the series, that's all that really matters when it's all said and done. You shouldn't really be pitchforking and really pushing this anime going to the top because that's weird. I mean, don't get me wrong, I understand wanting something you like to get recognition and I'm not speaking to the people who casually came across Fire Force and was like, oh man, I can't believe more people aren't talking about this because we've all done that. We've all seen or heard something and been like, this is phenomenal more people should be talking about this. I'm more so aiming this little in call to action at the people who are all snarky on Twitter and being all like, oh, oh man, when, when season three of Fire Force comes out, I, I don't hear nothing from y'all. Don't, don't gas it up now. Don't, don't hop on the wave now. Like, stop, man. <laughs> stop. Liking what you perceive to be an underrated anime is not a personality trait. 
relax man it's okay i promise you it will be all right if people suddenly like the anime that you've liked from the very beginning all that being said though the manga readers are apparently telling us that some amazing things are about to happen in this next season that's sort of kind of been announced but not really it's been leaked that it's coming but we all kind of know it's coming at least at the time of this recording so maybe some of these plots that have been building up for the past two seasons will finally get some payoff and we will get some hype of viral anime moments from fire force and by the way if you haven't actually seen fire force uh, the way I'm speaking about it, it makes it seem like the first two seasons are a bit of a drag and nothing happens, but that's not true. Lots of stuff happens. I just know for a fact there's a lot cooler stuff on the horizon. So, hey, catch up, man. Catch up. Because cause if you don't, people are going to make fun of you <laughs> for joining the anime bandwagon late. I <laughs> the internet is a, is, a, is a stupid place, man. Oh, man. And that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed, I make videos of this quality or better all the time. So subscribe and like and do all that other fun stuff and watch more videos that will be on the screen either right now as I speak or shortly after I stop speaking. I don't really know because I'm lazy and don't <laughs> go in and perfectly align that layout for when I'm speaking. You don't care about any of this. All right, I'm leaving.